Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Thousand Year Door. So the last part was a whole bunch of dialogue, and it looks like we've got yet another uh, thing we have to sit through here before we can get back to Mario. This is Bowser's castle, sure looks like it, huh? Uh, the Koopa Trolls look pretty cool in this game, I gotta admit. Ah, uh, yep, there's Bowser. You knew we couldn't have a Mario game without him, right? This is actually the first time we see him, I think, so, cool. Bowser, the mighty Koopa King has arrived. Hold your applause, minions. But now that I'm here, Cammy, you crusty old hag, why did you summon me? Oh, Cammy's here too? Oh, great, that's just what we need. Uh, Great Lord Bowser, the uh, crusty hag Cammy Koopa will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience. Please wait at the rear of the room. Wait, what? We have control of Bowser? Oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah, so basically we get to walk around as Bowser, which is pretty cool, and if we hold down B, we can breathe fire on stuff. That's cool. We can uh, torch these little hammer bros. They don't do anything, but, ah, eh, well. So the other day, I saw Lord Bowser gazing lovingly at a photo of Princess Peach. Uh, you may want to put a cork in it, man. Who? I tell you, the look on his face when he was mooning over that thing. Huh? Ah! Lord Bowser. Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share. Come on. I'm not funny, sir. He's not funny, sir. <laughs> yeah, true enough. Alright, what's up? Lord Bowser, I have been training day and night to help you conquer the world. Should the time come, I shall be ready. Order me as you please, your surliness. Uh, super. In that case, I order you to do some sit-ups, tubby. <laughs> Aw, is that all he says? Alright. Man, this is a long hallway. Who designed this thing, man? Hail, Lord Bowser! Lord Bowser, please, if it's not too much trouble, head to the rear of the hall. Uh, well, I'm pretty much already there, but okay. Alright, so once we reach the far right side of this hallway here... Ah, it's Kami Koopa. What happened to your broom? Shouldn't you be flying around? Ah, Lord Bowser! <laughs> Out of breath already, huh? I've just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Kami Koopa. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your crumpiness, don't be so impatient with your poor servant. <clears throat> it's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. <laughs> Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you going to call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh. Yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. So, treasure? Yes, Mario has gone in search of star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The Crystal Stars, you say? They sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them. Hmm, yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? Uh, well, I don't see what this has to do with anything. You bet I do. Do I? I love fried eggs. Love them. But what a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario Recon, I stopped in a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. Airhead! A picnic? You moron! This is no time for fun. See, this is why my evil plans always derail, because you clods always goof off. Ah! Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure. Hmm? What's that? What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news. Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport. Oh, what? Tell me you're lying, Cammy. How? When? Where? Who'd do such a thing besides me? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to Rogueport. Now, I've got to kidnap her back. Well, I don't know if he has the right intentions or not, but hey, yeah, maybe he'll help us out. Who knows, right? <clears throat> nice close-up of the clown car there. Whoa, nice. Oh, there's your broom. Why weren't you flying on it earlier? But your grunginess, wait up. And off they go. Phew, man, I tell you, there's a lot of dialogue in between these chapters, huh? Alright, no, I'm not gonna save. <laughs> I know that cutscene was really arduous, and, you know, it, it, it's really risky to go on without saving, but I think I'll be okay. Alright, finally, we're taking back to Mario here in Petalburg. 
Koontz, my lad. Are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm gonna continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm, well, I'm gonna come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Koops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You are my son, Koops, and I am your father. <laughs> well, that, that's kind of how these things work. Koops, my sweet, I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. <clears throat> May I just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Koops. Don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Okay, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So where are we going? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember Mario? The bearer of the magical map shall unfurl it before the thousand-year door. When this is done, the star shall guide the bearer to the crystal star with pure light. And I didn't stop there. Each crystal star shall point to the next. That's what the books say. Which means, if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand-year door... So that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on the magic map. Exactly! Come on, let's go! Yes, please, let's go. I'm tired of sitting here waiting for dialogue to be done. Oh, man. All right, so uh, I guess now we are officially in the little uh, intermediate stages between Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 as Mario this time. We finally got all the stupid scenes out of the way. I was afraid the Bowser one was going to cost us another episode, man. It's a lot longer than I remember this being. Whoa, Mario, are you okay? You're totally shaking. Do you need a bathroom? <laughs> I think Mario can take care of that on his own. Ooh, is that a mailbox SP? Cool, with the light. Hey, who's that mail from? My dearest Mario, I send this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I'm being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed and in relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent to you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find objects they call the Crystal Stars. I think I know about those. I do not know what they're planning, but I have a feeling it's not anything positive. Mario, please collect these Crystal Stars before they do. You must. They are already aware that you have the map, so please be very careful. And please, don't worry about me. Ah, uh, the Paper Mario line from the first game, huh? Wow, wait a second, isn't that from Princess Peach? The Princess? Haven't we been through this already? So, I mean, she's okay, at least she's not hurt. It sounds like whoever kidnapped Princess Peach is also after the Crystal Stars. Yeah, pretty much. Wouldn't be a video game if there wasn't somebody else trying for him, right? Alright, eh, let's just avoid all these guys. They're pretty much useless at this point. And now, as Goombella has pointed out, our goal is uh, pretty much just to go back to the Thousand Year Door in order to learn um, where to go to get the next Crystal Star. Whoa, holy crap. Oh, that was close. Alright, I think it's this screen is the one with the pipe. Yep, it is. So, say goodbye to Hooktail's castle for good. Well, okay, and I won't say completely for good, not to spoil anything, but... <laughs> For now, anyway. Alright, so now we're back in the sewers. Make sure not to fall in the water. That platform always, like, uh, goes away from you as soon as you come out. Ah, oh, Goombella, you couldn't jump. I should made that one. Oh, well. <laughs> that was stupid. I thought I could jump further than that. Oh, man, it puts me back at the pipe. Oh, ugh, that sucks. Alright, let's do this. Come on. I was trying to, like, long jump or something. I don't know. <laughs> but whatever it was, it didn't work out. So, that was a waste of time. Alright, avoid that guy down there. And, uh... Let's see. Actually, yeah, we can get to this right now. Since we can have, since we have our new little uh, power thing. Oh, wow, I just realized I also missed a badge back in Pedalburg. I guess I was just too excited to get out of there, huh? Um, it's... I don't think it's anything useful. It's, uh... I don't know. We'll, we'll go back and get it. I'll cut to it or something, but... Hello, welcome. I'm Merle. Underground cute as can be. A fortune teller. That is me. Lucky for you coming here. I tell fortunes, have no fear. Let my mystic power tell of days to come. More as well, for luck sits on my spells. What do you say, Mr. Guy? Want to give it a try? Sure, why not? That's good. That's great. Choose your path to fate. Which path do you choose? Yeah, so this is basically just like uh, the Merle that was in Paper Mario 1. You can choose, you know, 50, 20, or 5. So obviously we're going to pay for the special path, which is 50 coins. Okay, that's fine by me. So ready? Ready for me? Okay, here we go. I got kind of lazy with the rhymes there. Who knew that me rhymes with me, right? So we have another cool animation while she uh, does her little spell here. The problem is the animation is almost this long in battles, too. Like, that's the <laughs> that's pretty much the main drawback to this, is that every time it takes effect, you literally have to wait for, like, it's like five or ten seconds. It's something ridiculous, but... My mystic power can make you smile. In battle, you'll win with style. Even if nasty foes arrived, you'll be fine, since my fortune will thrive. Okay, come again. See you soon. See you then. Goodbye. Yeah, Alright, see ya. 
So yeah, that's always a nice thing to have, uh, no matter which Paper Mario game you're playing. So, uh, good that we got that. I see a treasure chest there that we can't get to yet. Alright, so to get back to the Thousand Year Door, it's actually, uh, not that bad. Especially since we have our new little power now, we can actually kind of shortcut it a little bit. We're about to run out of time, but I'll make it about as far there as I possibly can. We can just kind of slip through there, and then the pipe we need is right here. So instead of going all the way to the right and back down, we can just do that now. Which is pretty cool. We still have to go all the way around this thing, though. Whoa, holy crap. Alright, so just up these stairs and across the little, uh, gap, we can fly across with the plane. That's where the Thousand Year Door is. And we're also about out of time, so the next part we're going to uh, stand in front of the Thousand Year Door and uh, see where the next Crystal Star is. Until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.